In this demo, we're going to see how we can use MATLAB to make a cloud-based people counter. Here's a short clip of the demo in action to give you an idea of what it does. In terms of software, we're going to need MATLAB, the Computer Vision System Toolbox, the MATLAB Support Package for USB Webcams, and the ThinkSpeak Support Toolbox. So what is ThinkSpeak? ThinkSpeak is MathWorks IoT Data Aggregator. In terms of hardware, you're going to need a USB webcam. Here's a chart which shows what's going on in this demo. It's going to start off with our people counting algorithm, which takes in our webcam video. As it detects and tracks the people in the video, the algorithm will show the tracking results on the screen and periodically write people counting data to the cloud. The next time the people counter is used, this data will be read by the algorithm to help it keep an accurate people count. If you need to get any of the toolboxes or support packages, you can get to them by going to add-ons and clicking get add-ons. One thing to note is that you will need the computer vision system toolbox on your license in order to download it. Here is the MATLAB script written for this project. We're going to clear everything that we don't need and initialize some variables. Then we're going to read from our ThingSpeak channel in order to determine the latest value for the number of faces that were detected. If this is your first time running the people counter, then the value will be zero. Before you try and make this on your own, I suggest you make your own ThingSpeak channel. To make a ThingSpeak channel, all you need to do is go to the ThingSpeak website at thingspeak.com and you're going to sign in with your MathWorks account or create an account and then you can create a channel by clicking new channel. Once you click new channel, you're going to enter the channel name, a brief description, and you're going to enable field one and field two. Once you do this, you're going to press save channel. Now that you can see your channel, you can get your channel ID here and your read and write API keys here. All you'll need to do is enter the channel ID and read key here, the channel ID and write key here. This function deals with writing the information to our ThingSpeak channel. Now that our channel is set up, we are going to initialize some more objects and variables that will help us show our results and log our data. Now let's move on to the portion of code where we actually track faces and count the number of people. What this is going to do is whenever the video player is open, we're going to take the video from our USB webcam and we're going to go through it to try and detect faces. If a face is detected, the program will do three things. It will display a frame around that face, it will display the unique user ID within that frame, and it will also display the tracking points that were used to detect the face. These will remain on the face until the algorithm is no longer able to track the person's face. An additional feature of this people counter is that it can display a special message after every five people pass by the webcam. So every five visitors, the people counter is going to display the normal data like the bounding boxes, the tracking points, the IDs, but it's also going to show a congratulatory message and show a picture of the user for five seconds. After this, it'll go back to its normal operation. Now time to see the demo in action. There you can see the bounding box and the tracking points. A cool feature of this algorithm is that even if you rotate your face, it will still be able to track you. Now here you can see it tracking multiple faces. In this demo, I only use the people counter at my desk. However, this would be great to see how many people stop by at a trade show, a conference, or a convention. And when we add the fifth face, Here's our special message, and here's the image on the screen. There you have it, a cloud-based people tracker. Thanks for watching.